everyone. Today the bookworms are going to be reading Little Miss Hug by Roger Hargreaves. Let's get into the book. Have you ever fallen over and hurt yourself? I bet you have. And then, have you wished that someone would come along and give you a hug and make you feel better? Well, Little Miss Hug is just that person. Like the time she found Little Miss Tiny after she had fallen off the curb. But there is something else extra special about Little Miss Hug's hugs. It is her extra special arms. They fit perfectly around whoever she is hugging. Whether it is Mr. Small after a twig fell on him and squashed his hat. Or Mr. Bump after one of his bumps. Or even Mr. Greedy when he has a tummy ache. Little Miss Hug is always there with a perfectly fitting hug to make everything better. Then there are times when nobody has hurt themselves. Happy times like birthdays. Everyone wants a birthday hug. And times when she hugs just for the fun of it. Even the likes of Little Miss Bossy need a hug once in a while. So everyone needs a hug, or so Little Miss Hug thought. The other day, when she was out for a walk, she heard someone hidden on the other side of a hedge. Someone huffing and puffing and moaning and groaning. Someone who was in a very bad temper. Mr. Grumpy. And why was Mr. Grumpy in such a bad mood? Because the sun was out. There really is no pleasing Mr. Grumpy. Quick as a flash, little Miss Hug ran around the hedge, stretched out her arms, and hugged Mr. Grumpy. Or at least she tried to. But something happened that had never happened to little Miss Hug before. Mr. Grumpy pushed her away. Get off of me, shouted Mr. Grumpy. Little Miss Hug could not believe her ears. She could not believe her eyes. Nobody had ever refused one of her hugs. But... But everyone likes a hug, she cried. She was so confused, she hugged Mr. Grumpy again. I know what you're trying to do, said Mr. Grumpy, but it won't work. I am grumpy and I like being grumpy, and no amount of hugging will change that. Little Miss Hug did not let go. I said began Mr. Grumpy, but then he stopped. Something was happening to Mr. Grumpy that had never happened to him before. He could feel a strange, warm feeling spreading out from deep inside him. Little Miss Hug hugged him tighter. Then the most extraordinary thing happened. Very slowly, Mr. Grumpy smiled. For the first time in his life, he was happy. Little Miss Hug let go of him. I must say, said Little Miss Hug, you have a lovely smile. And can you guess what Mr. Grumpy did next? He blushed. For the first time in his life, he blushed. And then he hugged Little Miss Hug. For the first time in his life, he hugged someone. Although, as you can see, it was almost a hug. Not a proper Little Miss Hug hug. What you might call... Half a hug. A Mr. Grumpy hug. The end. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, 
don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new video with a fun read-along. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!